again, I don't hear it, but I've heard it being used more often now. You know, instead of saying the great, they say you talk about goats. Okay, perfect. Just, okay. Uh, okay, natural disasters. The international community has prom promised uh, support after two deadly earthquakes hit southern Turkey and Syria. They caused a huge loss of life and damage of, to the area. What causes the earthquakes? How do rescue teams work under these circumstances? Okay, uh, what causes earthquakes? I think this is a yeah, so it's, it's something related with the interior of the earth, you know? So That's where right. the movement, actually the movement of the interior of the earth cause yeah. uh, earthquakes. And yeah. if the earthquakes uh, is in the mainland, um, cause a lot of disaster, like unfortunately we have seen in Syria and Turkey. And if the earthquake took place, uh, takes place, sorry, in the inside of the sea could cause a tsunami tsunami that's right yeah. thank you for answering that. yeah um how do rescue teams work under this circumstance i think they need to work very fast because they need to try to to save as many lives as possible uh they need to be organized they need to have uh they do need to have a um, a plan um, they need to work coordinated to yeah. try to so, try to save as many lives as possible. And unfortunately, you know, on this earthquake, uh, many people has died. I hear something around thirty thousand people died uh, in this earthquake, which is very sad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, this kind of natural disasters uh, will start. Oh, could happen. So something, this is natural. This is a natural disaster. So unfortunately, the people who live in like seismic areas uh, need to be aware and need to be prepared for this kind of problems. Great. Very good answer. Now, again, the little bit I remember from school, I think there are called fault lines. Um, uh, fault lines there, there, there's a there are fault lines in the earth where earthquakes um are more likely to happen okay more likely okay go to, yeah that's what i just want to just check that while, while it's working now yeah it's working yeah okay number two um, it's no good. It's, 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 okay. Okay. Shall I read the second one? Uh, yes, yeah. Should we all keep an emergency pack for natural disasters? What will you put in yours? Um, I think it's always good to have an emergency pack for natural disaster or for any kind of, uh, I don't know, accident that we may yeah. experience. Um, but yeah, but I think the people who lives in like seismic areas need to be more prepared for that. Um, for example, yeah. Chile and Mexico, they are seismic. Is correct seismic, seismic country, seismic. or they seismic. Uh, seismic. seismic? Yeah. So they experience a lot of um, a lot of uh, earthquakes. Yeah. I think from time to time they have a big one. Um, I remember in Mexico a few years ago they had a really big earthquake, earthquake, uh, and many people died too. Oh God! But another natural disaster that I remember, I think, was one of the worst ever, was the tsunami. I don't know how many people has died during yes. the tsunami, but I remember where where thousands and thousands of people died. Because all the waves, the big waves, affected the coast of many Asian countries. And Asia, you know, Asian countries, they are overpopulated. Um, and yeah, so they live very close to the sea. And they don't have, like, very strong infrastructure to, to how can I say, to face this kind of problem. Yes, yes, yes. yes and yes. also because they're 
I think the buildings are not so good. Um, yeah. yeah, so so weak. Um, that's that's one of the things. So, I would say the general infrastructure of each coastal cities, they are not so good prepared or so well prepared. Sorry, for yeah. for this kind of uh problems or this kind of disasters. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, if I if I if I would live in that places, probably I will need to have an emergency pack, number one. But the second, I will live very far from big mountains on this kind of thing. Yes. Yeah, I no, will live yeah, far, far true. away. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Suspected by a spy balloon. Last week. Ah, yeah, balloon. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> the famous balloon. <laughs> And yeah, then yeah. now they are seeing like a lot of balloon everywhere, you know. So in Alaska, in Canada, in in many oh, countries. Yeah. 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 So there are different balloons. I don't know. Okay. Last week, a Chinese balloon caused international tension. It was spotted over the Atlantic Ocean. The U.S. suspected the spying, while China said it was simply for weather research. Okay, do you think the US overreacted when they shot down the balloon? Why or why not? No, I think they were completely in the right to to shoot down the balloon because uh, the balloon was like flying under their yes. air territory. Yeah. Um so they they were for me it was a, a good idea to shoot down the balloon. Yeah. Um Regarding, I think it's not it's not fair, and also it's on a how can I say? Um, how can I say sorry? Let me let me think. It's a provocation actually of Chinese. Yeah. It's a right. Chinese provocation, yeah, because they are like showing their power on the yeah. air of the main uh, of the main nation. I got to say because yeah. USA okay. is the most important nation in the world. For the for the Western community, I think they are the the most important uh, super. Who would say the super country? Who would say that? A superpower. Super the, yeah, they are the superpower country. So uh, I think they actually we have an expression here. It's like they touch their ass, you know. So it's like yes. it's, it's yeah, like yeah. Chinese come and touch, you know. So it's something like. They, they, they are. They were provocating. I think a reaction of the U.S. people or U.S. Uh, army. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number two. Uh, do you expect U.S. Chinese relationships to improve or worsen over the next decade? Okay, I expect and I wish and I would like that the U.S. and Chinese relationship uh, were good because otherwise we could be involved into a nuclear war, which is not nice for anyone. Um, yeah, so I think uh, all the world, all the countries in the world need peace in this world, you know? So I think it's very necessary to have agreements. Uh, it's also, to, also important to respect everybody's border, yeah, because yeah. this is something that USA people or U.S. government need to respect other countries too. Not only they need to respect them, um, other countries need to respect USA, also they need to respect the rest, you know. Uh, for example, when they took actions in countries such as, I don't know, Afghanistan, Iran, Korea, North Korea, so they don't have anything to do in those countries. So um, I would say probably should be nice to have like international force to prevent uh, human crimes in yeah. different areas this is necessary yeah for example they need to have like i think everybody or all the countries need to to form you know uh international army and when something is happening against the human rights in different areas they need to react but yeah. but not to react because of they say okay they are terrorism or they are like okay it's their problem it's not our problem you know unfortunately it's like this just again that's that's excellent uh one just as when we when we talk about flying over um another country we talk we can say flying over their airspace 
flight over their airspace over the, so we'll talk about airspace over the airspace and that's used a lot um uh, you know in in conflict zones we talk about it's talked about a lot called airspace okay Okay, perfect. Okay, love. Okay, excellent. Okay. Okay. Um, young lottery winner. In Canada, a teenager won the gold ball jackpot with her very first lottery ticket. 18 years old, packed um, Canadian dollar, US, Canadian dollars, 48 million which is 35.8 uh, US million dollars. She said she will continue her studies to become a doctor. Uh, what will be advantages and disadvantages of winning the lottery for someone so young? I think I will say he, this guy was so lucky and I am very happy for him. Um, advantages is, I think he could solve many economical and financial problems especially for the family or so he can he can uh, he he will be able to change his life actually um his family life too um about disadvantages okay probably if this guy or this this young man uh, don't do what what is good for him probably he could be involved in addictions or yeah or maybe waste his money with friends or on parties, this kind of thing. But I would say that there are more advantages than disadvantages, especially if he's smart. So if he yeah. is, is not smart, if he's like, uh, who will say the opposite of smart? He's, he's stupid or maybe he's... Uh, yeah. It's maybe, not, um, just, um... He's not really smart. Uh, he's smart. Yeah, he's yes. not a smart. Uh, probably he could be involved in in issues. Um, it's, and the same happened with famous people, you know. So many famous player or maybe famous act, actors and actresses. Uh, at the end of the day, they got involved in many uh, negative negative thing for their careers. Yeah. yeah. Um, at the end of the day, they always. They always in uh, are involved in in addictions actually, yeah. And they the addiction destroyed their careers, so they need to start again after a few years yeah. of recovery. Um, so they need to do some treatments to to leave out the drugs, to keep away, you know. So which is really sad. I have to say, I think drugs issues are a be a very yes. big concern in this society. Yes, that, that, excellent answer. Just to say, um, when we talk about uh, money problems, we only talk about financial. We don't financial. talk about economic. Yeah, financial. Not, yeah. E economic, economic yeah. is really just it, we refer use the economy for the country. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you told me that. Sorry, I, I just, I, I know, but I just, just to remind you. It's all right. I, I just financial. Just yeah, you. financial problems. Financial problems or uh, financial issues yeah. could be financial. Yeah, financial problems, financial issues. Yeah. Absolutely, okay. either it doesn't. It's it's clear, but okay. the, econo the economics is for the country. Yeah, for the country. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And who would you say, for example, your personal economy? Your in your, your house. Finance. Ah, your personal yeah, yeah. finance. Okay. We, okay. So we talk about this. We talk about our our personal finances. Finances. Personal, personal finances. About, yeah, you know. Um, you know, you might talk about uh, your assets. Yeah. What you own, and and your, you know, what are your uh, liabilities? You know, what do you what do you owe people? Yeah. Okay. Number two, do you consider playing the lottery as a form of gambling? Why or why not? Mm, at what point of my life I think I did play? uh this kind of games trying yeah. to to earn the main prize uh i think i did a couple of times i think everybody everybody yeah, does that at some point of course. of course everybody wants to be millionaire 
<laughs> and not of work course. anymore, you know? I think yeah, it's, yeah, it's a solution, so we need, don't need to teach anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no, <of course. laughs> but, but I mean, it's, it's a just kidding. Words. Yeah, it's just kidding. I think it was. Yeah. yeah, I think I think teaching, okay, uh, after after uh, answering this, this question, yeah. I think teaching is something that because we like. Yeah. So we are doing this because we like at the end of the day because of you are helping me, I helping another one. So it's like yeah, it's like exactly. this, you know. Yeah. So it's like we are helping people at the end of the day. Um. Okay. So it doesn't matter if we get paid or not. So it's we are helping, you know. Well, I say it helps. Yeah. But maybe you know what? When you win the lottery and you're sitting on your private yacht, you might give a few lessons. Yeah. Why not? Why not? So why it's just not? to talk. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Um yeah, so I think uh I think if I feel like very how can I say uh, very motivated to play, I will play okay. because I feel like I could win, you know? Okay, yeah. But if I feel like to play for playing, I think you you need to have the interior feeling to play. It's like I don't know if it happened to you, but imagine that you think or you you dream about uh, and you have some numbers in your dream, you know? Yeah, so yeah. because it's, it happens sometimes, you know, when you are dreaming and somebody came into your dream yeah. and tell you some numbers or you think yeah. in some numbers. So I think yeah. you need to take note after you wake up of the numbers yeah. and probably you could blame for yeah. those. Because I think the subconscious is very it's very strong and or yeah, yeah. or mind is very strong i have to say yeah, yeah, because yeah. everything that we have in our minds we attract you know that the law of attraction yes. yeah. yeah yeah the law as attraction because law is in law. spanish yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. the attraction law yes. attraction, the law of attraction. you're right so it's, it's subconscious 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 yeah i think i've, I've, got to make sure I, I've just got to make sure i've, I've spelled that right um Subconscious. See, see. Yeah, I, I haven't spelled it right. Subconscious. Liabilities. What do you mean with liabilities? La liabilities. Okay, these are things we owe. So when we talk about our personal, our finances, um, I, again, so the assets are our, whatever we own, and liabilities may be debts. I, I, Debts, yeah, you may have some debts, yeah, that you might have to pay. You know, you bought something that you're paying off. Yeah. You know. Okay, yeah. Okay, lovely. Um, and then one more. I'm going to be one minute. So yeah, no problem. Okay. Okay. So, science. Okay. Science. Researchers yeah. conducted an experiment to see what really happens when they swallow Lego. In the study, six doctors swallowed Le uh, Lego hits and waited to see what come out. Do you think parents will feel reassured 
when they read this scientist study, why or why not? Lego is the game, right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, I don't think it's true. I can't believe somebody did that. Yeah. I can't Do you it. think parents will feel reassured when they read this thing? Okay, I think I wouldn't try to, to eat a Lego, to be honest, <laughs> to swallow a Lego, yeah. So and all and at the same time I wouldn't uh, oh, oh. I wouldn't as uh, uh, who can I say I wouldn't li leave my children to eat a Lego too no. you know no but they were doctors so obviously they if they want to do it that's you know yeah um yeah I think this is a ridiculous experiment but let's see I don't know is their their choice uh number two why is Lego so iconic. What other toys have stood the test of time in a similar way? Okay, Lego, I think, was iconic for many years all over the world, yeah. especially yeah. because it's a good entertainment uh, for kids and adults, too. Why not? Because yeah. you can create and build, like, cities. You can create and build many things with Lego. Yeah. I think yeah. it's, uh, it's good for the creativity, actually. Yeah. Yes. So it it helps uh, it helps grow the creativity for many people. Uh, regarding the second question, I don't know to be honest. I don't know what other toys have stood that this kind of test. No, I don't know either. I don't. Um, uh, Lego is very famous. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, there we okay. go. We're talking about goats. There we go. Goats. Okay, I will play my side and I will let you know okay. when I finish, okay? Okay, fantastic. But you can see that again they put the word goat in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I will play yeah. my side. Scrub. Looking for James. He's got it. Coming to the end of the third quarter. LeBron James, a shot in history. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, disappear everything. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's my fault. One second, one second. Okay, there you okay, go. I would, okay, I would say, no worries. Scroll. from his mother, Gloria. The stars here coming in. Oh, the boys, Bryce and Bronny, Savannah is white. Moment. What was once thought is an unbreakable record has just been broken by 38-year-old LeBron James. Okay, I finish. Mm -hmm. Um... Watch the moment when LeBron James breaks the NBA all-time scoring record, passing Karim Abdul-Jabbar, Loma standing scare, score. Do you agree no. that LeBron James is the GOAT, greatest of all time in basketball? Uh, I am not very, how can I say, I am not very into NBA right now, but I used to watch a lot NBA when, you know, when this guy played uh, no. named... Um, Michael Jordan, remember, right. Michael Michael Jordan for me was the best of the best. But I would say uh, LeBron James could be number two, and also Magic Johnson. There are so many good players in basketball, but yeah. I would say Michael Jordan for me and for my era yes. he was the best. Yeah, 
absolutely fantastic. Ab yeah, absolutely. The, Ma yeah, Michael Jordan was like from another planet. Um, just to say, I don't know if you've ever seen it. If you go to YouTube, um, you can see the NBA, um, the best 10 shots. I think the best 10 um, uh, baskets of, um, of Michael. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, remember Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls was very yeah. famous at that time. The, 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 uh, if you go to YouTube, there's the ten best shots of Mike. Absolutely uh, incredible. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, I will. I will watch it afterwards. Uh, okay, number two. Should a sport yeah. start be humble or ego egotistical? Okay. Egotistical is referring to the ego, right? Exactly. So really, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah we have a very similar world, very similar. Yeah. Uh, should the sport starts be humble or ego egotistical? Okay, yeah. I never heard this one. Why? I think um, I think they they should have like a boss. If I will be like this kind of player, I will be boss. I will be for human beings. Or for the rest of the people, for normal people, it will be humble, okay? Of course, because you need to be like, uh, like a lawyer. Uh, who can I say? Like a normal people, you know? Because, yeah. uh, for example, Leo Messi is like this. He's humble. He's multimillionaire yeah. and he's humble, okay? Absolutely. And he's silence. You know, he's silence inside, so he only plays. He's not talking. Yeah. He's not showing up. So he's only showing Absolutely. out inside the the pitch. You know. Uh, but yeah. there are so many others, like Cristiano Ronaldo, like many other stars. They are yeah. like ego egocentrical. Is correct or not? Egocentric, um, egotistical, perhaps. Egotistical, perhaps. Egotistical. Okay, this is kind of difficult. Oh, it's, egotistical. Uh, I mean, maybe there is a word egocentric. Uh, then. Um... Yeah, I have, I have here my dictionary. Don't worry. Uh, Yeah, egocentric. You do have that word, yeah, egocentric. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, for me it's easier. Okay. Uh, yeah, they are like, yeah, they are they are very egocentric. Um, yeah. Uh, for example, Cristiano Ronaldo is like they pretend to be the best of the best in every in everywhere they are. Okay. Yeah. So, but Cristiano Ronaldo, what he has, he's humble with the people, actually. Yes. He's not humble yeah. inside or where he moves, but with the people, yeah. with kids. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is humble. But with the yeah. rest, he's not humble at all. Okay. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I think I will be a mixture, but I would say that uh, Messi is a good example of a sportsmanship. Yes, definitely. He's very, yeah, he's, it, it's not a it's big... A good uh... It's a good example. Yeah, he, he's only interested in football. He's not interested in family and uh, family and football. So because he's yeah, not yes. involved in parties, he's not involved in drugs, no. he's not involved no. in problems, he's no. making money, he plays good. Yeah. What else you can expect from a player like this? That's a tiny, I get a tiny thing. Um, we say he plays well. That's we always he plays well. Uh, people do say that he plays good. How am I? I'm good. But we usually say well. Well, in the same way that if I ask how you are, how are you? I'm well. I'm exactly. We, people will say I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. But generally, we try and say I'm, I'm well. I'm well. Okay. And the opposite is I'm well. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm well, I'm well. Yeah. You, but you will hear people saying that now. I'm good. I'm not good. Or things aren't, you know. It's, that's how it is. Yeah. Okay. Generally. Yeah. Okay, my friend, I think it's enough for today. So I okay. felt, I felt uh, inspired. <laughs> okay, good. I, I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. As long as you... Thank you very I much, so. my friend, for your help. Pleasure. Okay? Pleasure. See you soon. Take All care. the best. Bye-bye. Take care. Adios. 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 <laughs>